The most accurate way of making many different concentrations of a single solution is to perform serial or sequential dilutions. This is faster and more accurate than making every solution from scratch. A safety bulb must be used for all pipette work. It is important to fit the bulb correctly to the pipette. Holding the pipette too low down could result in injuring your hand. Hold the pipette at the end and gently ease it into the bulb. Squeezing A with your thumb and forefinger allows the bulb to be evacuated. Squeezing S sucks liquid into the pipette. Now take care not to lift the bottom of the pipette out of the solution as this will result in the safety bulb being flooded. Finally, squeezing E empties the pipette. And here we see how to fill and empty the pipette. In order to perform a sequential dilution, fill a pipette of the desired amount 3 cm above the graduation line. Quickly remove the safety bulb and put your thumb over the top of the pipette. Wipe the surplus liquid off the pipette. Gradually allow the pipette to empty down to the graduation line. Transfer to the volumetric flask and allow the pipette to empty. In order to get the last few drops out, seal the top of the pipette with your thumb and gently warm the middle. Take the top off the water bottle and fill the flask to within 3 cm of the line. Now fill to the line using a clean pasta pipette. It's worth noting that there are various different sizes of volumetric flasks that you can use for different applications. Here are a few examples on the screen. When making up a solution in a volumetric flask, we need to pay special attention to the meniscus. Now if we look at the left hand image, we've filled up to well below the line, and this is what you should do initially when making up a solution in a volumetric flask. Well, as you fill up to the line, you should be very, very careful either using a pipette or a wash bottle and you need to see the meniscus sitting perfectly on the line as you do in the middle image. You don't want to see any drops of liquid or solvent around the inside of the, the neck of the flask otherwise this would increase the volume and take you above the line so be very careful as you add your solvent to the flask. In the right hand image we've actually overshot the line as you can see quite clearly. This will mean that the concentration in the flask is actually lower than that that we intended. So if you think that you can simply remove some of that liquid to take it down to the line, then actually you're going to have uh, an in inaccurate concentration, not what you expected, and really that's completely pointless. So unfortunately, yes, in this case, you'd have to start from scratch again.